<laughs> well, Adam. You do feel uh, her love for him oh, I hope is so intensely. You worked very hard at this did, to create that because this was important to you. Yeah. We'd read things about them, we'd see things about them, we'd talk to people about them. We'd almost have the problem of, God, they're just perfect. To, to just learn about that as well as, as somebody in a relationship, just to think, that, wow, this is amazing. They have something that so many of us would love to have had. The movie is also a drama. Mary Ann, Pearl's colleagues, Pakistani investigators, and American diplomats join forces devoting days and nights to finding him alive. The FBI found Danny's photos on this guy Farhad's computer. Who is that was another reason Brad was drawn to the story of Pearl's abduction. Brad believes the international search team was itself a kind of victory over the terrorists. You know, as these guys tried to take out and destroy this man, um, it actually backfired in a, in a very interesting way. It, it actually brought people together. And the people in the house who were all looking at, who were in search of Danny, were Muslims, Christians, um, Buddhist, Jewish, and it actually became this uh, a catalyst to bring people together. There is also this amazing friendship with a Pakistani Muslim man who is the captain. Suddenly I realized Bashir was Umar Sayyid Sheikh. You sure? And, and he cared so much, was so dedicated and so broken-hearted that this would happen. He is of that faith, and it's that faith that makes him want to bring somebody's husband and father home. So you're saying it's more complicated. This movie reveals something All that sides. we need to understand, that this is not Muslims against Christians. It's not, it's not about that. It's the complications are that there are similarities no matter what faith, what country you're from. And there's something beautiful in a film that you would think is about this difference of faith is actually very much focused on the people of from Buddhism to Christianity, Judaism, Muslim, all in the same house, becoming great friends and becoming each other's greatest support. During the filming, the actors also drew closer together inside the house. And then for Angelina, the biggest test of all, to convey the real anguish of that night when Marianne discovered her husband was never coming home. She goes into her room, your character goes into her room, and this just primal scream comes. I mean, hard, hard, real, real scream of just agony over the loss of her, of her husband. This, this thing, I mean, this must have been a very difficult scene to, to do. Very difficult. It, it was on that night. There was no plan for how to respond to that. I had no thought in my head of how I was going to respond to that because I, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine it. But we all just, I think, allowed ourselves to feel and try to let that come through. And everybody had tears in their eyes. And it was not for the camera, and it was not for, it was, and it wasn't, you know, in any kind of acting moment. It was a thought that we all shared on that night of, my God, how horrible this must have truly been. I can never understand. I tried to recreate it. I tried to act it in this movie, but I can never understand what a woman goes through when that, when that happens. And I have such sympathy for them to see him in your child and not have him there. And yet, the, probably the thing that helped her carry on, because thank God she was pregnant. Thank God she had that piece and has that piece of Danny every single day of her life now. That he lives on. Yeah, so thank God for that. But at the same time, of course, what a, you know, just what a great loss. This movie then is somewhat personal. It's not just another movie. And I think for everybody. I mean, I think most people, people around the world, remember this. Such brutality and yet such strength in her. And they have a beautiful little boy now who is the perfect combination of the two of them and is this shining example of them and everything they represent and believe in. And, uh, and he's her victory. I'd gotten to know their son and the thought that he would see this one day and that I it was my responsibility to not just show the world but also show him how much his mother loved his father and how much they loved each other and how they handled this time 
um, was something that haunted me something through the whole thing and haunted, I think, everybody involved. I want to, I want to thank you. And despite her devastating loss, work. the film captures Marianne's grace. You did not fail.